Moin, I'm Catherine, and today I'm in bed with Nathan Ball. Hello. We just joked around that I would like mess up one of the names, but I got it right. <laughs> you got it right, yeah. Who is yeah. from the UK? Because yeah. everybody thinks you're from Australia, Australia for some, some reason. reason. Yeah. Could be the town, probably. Yeah. We're at the Reaper Band Festival. Have you ever been before? I haven't, no. no. We've played in Hamburg, but no, never been. It's uh, heard a lot about it. It's quite hectic. Yeah. Wicked. Love it. Yeah. When did you arrive? Uh, we arrived yesterday evening. Okay. What else happened last night? Um, oh, it was quite hectic. We played in Paris the night before. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's it's not that close to here. So we, no, no, we drove not. all day. Oh, you drove? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's... Straight on stage. Oh. Played, had a couple of beers and pretty much passed out. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you sleep in the car? Uh, you can technically, it's, it's my little van that's got a bed in the back, but oh, yeah. I was driving, unfortunately. You so. were driving? Oh, yeah. where are you going to sleep tonight? Uh, we're staying in town and then we've got to shoot back to the UK mm -hmm. early morning. So. Okay, because you're from the UK. No, I'm not stopping now. <laughs> <laughs> so UK. I always want to press the point that I did not choose the questions. I gave them to your manager, Chelsea, <laughs> oh, and God. she chose them. So whatever happens, it's not my fault. Okay. It's not my fault. We'll blame it on her. Yes, please. If you had to sleep all night with an animal, which animal would you choose? Um, I'd actually take a dog. I love dogs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd happily have a dog in my bed. Okay. Know. Which was the most uncomfortable place you ever slept at? Um, a, f a floor. Um, yeah. Actually, no, a, a bush. I slept a in a bush, bush once. Yeah, in Australia. Like consciously or? Um, Semi-consciously. It was, um, I was on a van trip with some friends and, uh, They'd kind of passed out and locked the van, and oh, no. no matter how much shaking, they didn't wake up. So I slept oh, in the bush no. next to the van. Oh no, that's horrible! In Australia, <laughs> yeah, yeah, where you're not from. Where I'm not from. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can hit me when I should stop with this stupid. What records, like what music, do you like to listen to first thing in the morning? Uh, War on Drugs, my favorite yeah. band in the world. Yeah, I listen to them all day. They're perfect. <laughs> okay. Um. If you did not need any sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Um, I'd probably do some writing, actually. Yeah? I, I like writing when it's dark outside, so yeah. it's a yeah, good time to do that and then spend the day having fun, I guess. That's good. That's good. What would your dream world look like? Dream world? Um, good question. Everywhere would be by the sea. Yeah, um, good. And anywhere that wasn't would be up in the mountains, probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like to surf and snowboard a lot, so mm -hmm. that would be a dream world. And then less people in the world. But, yeah. So you get some waves. Yes, <laughs> get <laughs> Did one of your songs ever come out of a dream? Yeah, All or Nothing kind of did. Yeah? A uh, song of mine called All or Nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that kind of came from a dream. I remember writing it. I'd just woken up and then was in the shower and just kind of singing in the shower and then had to run out of the shower, record it on my phone and then carried on and then went and wrote it that day. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Next question. Yeah. When was the last time you pulled an all-nighter and what did you do? Um, Berlin, actually. Yeah? Um, yeah, we, we played a show there and then a couple of mates live over there and okay. took us to a pretty wild club called Ipsa down on the river. Mm -hmm. um, we're all big house music fans yeah. in the band and uh, yeah, went on a bit of a wild one. Okay, I yeah. I think Berlin never closes actually, does no, it? It's... No, it doesn't. No, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, which country has the most un most comfortable beds like when you and the two? Um, Switzerland. We played yeah. in, we played this festival in Switzerland a couple of months ago and they put us up in this hotel and it was it was out of control it yeah. was the comfiest bed i've ever said it was like three times the size of this one okay um, for you alone for me alone yeah <laughs> um yeah do you, do you like to do you like to spread out I, um, yeah a bit of yeah. a starfish yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'm a regular too. actually i move around was it like one one go through mattress or like yeah it, one yeah. all the way yeah no yeah. um but yeah i've never seen a mattress so big That's that's amazing. You have to tell me the name of the place later. We we're not we're not doing advertisement here. We're not plugging. No, in. No. Are you pro or contra breakfast in bed and why? Um, contra. Yeah. Um, 
bit of a neat freak and crumbs in the bed would not be. Do you have an essential luxury sleeping or just sleeping item that you take or two with you? Something that you um, need to sleep? Pillow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm a pillow snob. I have to have a certain pillow and I forgot it on this tour. Oh no. Um, first night of the oh, tour. Horrible. I slept for about oh. an hour. And, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> Would yeah. you be able, like, is it a certain pillow? Could you buy it? You know? um, no, it's the one I have at home. It's, and in it's my the van, one. Normally, yeah. yeah, it's the one. Oh, no. Um, I'm so sad for you. <laughs> no, I, I really can. Yeah, I can really relate. I understand the pain. If your bed was a gateway to another world, where would it lead to? I think up into the, we did a trip up into the mountains in Japan recently. And, oh. Uh, it was culturally, culturally felt like a different world. Yeah. And, um... It was a snowboarding trip and yeah. snow was you amazing. You can snowboard in Japan. I'm Big so time. ignorant. I'm so ignorant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> like it, yeah. it wouldn't be the first thing that comes to my mind to no, go snowboarding. No, no, but it's so like the best in the world. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, amazing. Um, I think I'd go there and take a couple of mates with me. Is snowboarding is it a thing in Japan? Big time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It snows more than like oh most places in the so world. I feel so ignorant right now. <laughs> I feel so ignorant. I'm so sorry. It's okay, snowboarding in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um, yeah, big scene yeah, out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whew. What's the most annoying song for you to be woken up by? Um, I there was a song I really hated. What's that um Black Eyed Peas song? Um, what's that? Turn that to the night. Let's hear it. Uh, yeah. Fill up my cup, muscle. I hate that song you hate more. Than, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, so, so yeah. Yeah, that song. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the last question. Okay. And for the answer, you can either go to your childhood or go deep shit. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Which monster sleeps under your bed? Um, good question. I used to have a fear of clowns as a yeah? kid. Yeah. Yeah, I hated clowns. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, clowns. Probably like the yeah. McDonald's one. The He's McDonald's, yeah, yeah, he, kind of yeah I like. I never understood that one because I like mm. thought you look so horrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you're trying to get kids in, into eating. Junk yes, food. yes, quite spooky. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Ronald just, McDonald is his name. Isn't it? Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you. Thank you very so, much. So so yeah, much, yeah. and Thank let's you. say bye to the internet. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Down to the banks of the river I get on my knees and pray Oh, will you be my saving grace Grace until then